Good evening, everyone. Happy Tuesday and welcome to Dreamstruck. Uh, tonight, we're going to talk about our phones. We are going to talk about our phones and how we can utilize our phones and allow our phones to do the magic. Okay, so um, I'm going to start and open up right now with a um, quick video. Um, it's going to be a few minutes, not very long, but if you have paper and pen. If you don't have it, go ahead and grab it because there's going to be some fun things that we're going to talk about here in just a moment. So just one second and let me widgets. Here are 10 helpful iPhone tips you should know. Did you accidentally enter a wrong digit into the calculator? No problem. Just swipe left or right at the top of the screen to erase it. Bonus tip, you can copy numbers by touching and holding the digits and then tapping copy. Starting in iOS 15, when someone sends you things like web links or Apple News articles and messages, you can pin the content so it's easier to find when you need it. In a messages thread, touch and hold the item you want to pin and then tap pin. Pinned content will be elevated in messages search, the details view of a conversation, and apps that support shared with you. Organize your home screen by stacking your widgets. Touch and hold an empty space on your home screen to edit it. Then drag one widget on top of another of the same size. You can add up to 10 widgets when creating a stack. Tap Done in the upper right corner when you're done and the widgets will automatically rotate to show the most relevant information throughout the day. You can also swipe through them if you want to switch to a different one. Select multiple photos at the same time and then add them to other apps with this multi-touch gesture. Touch and hold a photo until you feel a tap and then drag it away a little while still holding it. With a different finger, tap another photo to add it to the stack. You can select as many photos as you like. Once you've selected the photos, switch to the supported app you want to share to while still holding the stack. Drag your finger where you want to add them and lift your finger to drop them into the app. If you find yourself typing out the same phrase a lot, create a text replacement to get the message across faster. In settings, tap general. Then tap Keyboard and tap Text Replacement. Tap the Add button in the top right corner and enter a phrase into the Phrase field. Then enter the text replacement you'd like to use into the Shortcut field and tap Save. Now, whenever you type the text replacement, the phrase will appear in the Predictive Text section of your keyboard. You can quickly swipe to open the camera without even having to unlock your screen. Just swipe left. Got it. Did you know that you can scan a document with the Notes app on your iPhone? In a note, tap the camera button and tap Scan Documents. Position the document in the viewfinder and it will scan automatically. Repeat the process with as many pages as you need to scan. Tap Save when you're done. Starting in iOS 15, you can use live text to interact with text using your camera. Just position the viewfinder over a document and tap the Scan Text button in the bottom right corner. You can now interact with the text that appears. For example, you can tap Select All, then tap the screen to see the editing options again, and tap Copy. Then switch over to another app and paste the text that you just copied. In the Photos app, if you're looking for the first photo in an album, library, or search results, you can quickly jump to the beginning of the view by tapping the top edge of your iPhone screen. Tap the tab button for the view you're in at the bottom of the screen to jump back to the most recent photo. You can quickly access search right on your home screen and in iOS 15, your lock screen too. 
Just swipe your finger down from the middle of the home screen or lock screen and a search field will appear. Type in what you're looking for to quickly launch an app, find a contact, get web search suggestions, and more. Mmm, Gouda mac and cheese sounds delicious. With these helpful tips, you're on your way to discovering more of what your iPhone has to offer. To learn more about how to use your iPhone, subscribe to the Apple Support YouTube channel or click another video to keep watching. Wikipedia is a registered trademark of the Wikimedia Foundation Incorporated. Turn my camera's back on. Okay, so hopefully I'm not frozen and I apologize um, about that, but go ahead in the chat and if there's something that was shared in the one to 10 tips just now in that video, what is something that you didn't know about that could help you in your business? So let's go ahead and drop that in the chat. If there's something that was just shared in the video that you're like, whoa, had no idea that my phone could do this. Now keep in mind, I know that there's some Android users out there. I am not familiar with Android, but you can YouTube, you can Google. Um, and sometimes in competition, these two outfits are partner or not partners, but these two companies will try to emulate one another so that way they can get the business. So if there's something that the iPhone does, perhaps maybe Android offers it as well. Um, so Melissa said, I didn't know about most of those. And what did you guys think about the text replacement? I absolutely love, love, love the text, uh, the text replacement. Um, so yeah, Kawana said that I don't have an iPhone, but I can scan documents. So again, a lot of this information, it does apply to iPhones, of course, but it can probably transfer over as well to, um, to Android. So with that being said, in the comment, drop an Apple. If you are an Apple um, user, drop an Apple in the comments if you're an Apple user. And just drop a number two in the comments if you have an Android. I'm very curious to see if we have mostly Apple or Android, or it looks like there might be a combination <laughs> um, of both. So I see a lot of Apples, a lot of Apples. Um, Angie McFadden is an Android. Um, and Nick is Apple. Sometimes it's neat to see if your friends are Apple or Android. Tells a lot about us, I think. <laughs> Okay, so that's really awesome. Now for the text replacement, that is one that I personally utilize um, very every single day. Um, for those of you who do use text replacement, or even if you don't yet, put in the comments things that you use text replacements for. I had someone message me the other day when I was talking about this, and they're like, how do you use text replacement in your business? And I was like, oh my gosh, I can't imagine not using it. But before we go into that, I'm curious to see and learn how all of you use it. Um, PWS link, join link. Um, what else do we have? Uh, payments like PayPal, Venmo, um, club, um, tags, Misty said. Um, I also use it for Dreamstruck. When I'm sharing it with my team, I have D1 and all of a sudden the link shows up for Dreamstruck um, and also the password as well. And sometimes I know, I think um, Debbie, if you don't mind unmuting yourself, you use text replacements often. And I think you use it for more than just a word or two. How do you use text replacements in your business? I've been using it for quite some time. It's my favorite because I'm always running. I use it in my post on social media. I use it in text messages. Uh, anything that I do on my phone when I'm referring to my website, boom, there it is. It's so easy. And sometimes do you use like paragraphs? Like if you want to share something that you know you share over and over again? I need to start using for other things. I've just been using for my PWS. <laughs> oh. Well, yeah, sometimes when people have questions, whether it's about flash sale or, you know, or even about joining, um, you can have everything in there and then just have a code, you know, to replace all that in the sense. So instead of taking all the time to regurgitate the same information day in and day out, you can set up a, te a text replacement for that. Um, so another mm -hmm. thing that um, your phone can do is, you can also um, include a signature. Um, you can add a signature. And again, if you don't know how to do all this yet, or if you're not doing it now, just simply Google and say, how can I add a, a signature on my iPhone you know, 
12 or 13 or whatever the case may be. And Google will tell you exactly how to do that on your Android. But I think signatures are great because it's automatic, whether it's in your text or your email, no matter who you're communicating with, you can always end with your signature and include your PWS, which I think is awesome as well. Um, I'm completing a school fundraiser. So of course I'm using the text uh, replacement temporarily because as I'm saying thank you to everyone with my PWS, I have it all ready to go. It's the same verbiage, same information, but I need it to get out to about a hundred people. Um, so instead of typing all that out and I don't have to worry about spam because it's being texted one-on-one -on -one, that helps significantly as well. Um, another thing that we talked about, I think in the chat here was the um, scan feature where you can scan receipts. You can tax documents that you might need later on um, into your, you know, your notes and have that. Um, Hold on a second, somebody. Uh, ah, okay, um, you can do that. And then uh, what else did I have here? There's actually, did you know that there's a magnifying glass? You can actually go into your settings again, um, whichever phone that you're using and go under settings. And there's a, a feature where you can include like, um, or add magnifying or zoom. And some of us are getting older, some of us are wearing glasses. And so that magnifying and zoom option comes in handy. Another thing too, is as you're growing your business, we are reaching people from all demographics, right? And so I know that we actually have some on our team that are hearing impaired, deaf, and then we also have some um, that are blind. And so it's amazing what people can do as far as still operating their businesses without making any excuses at all, but also leading um, there is a, a feature under settings where you can um, add the uh, closed captioning and subtitles. So if you're going live or, you know, or yeah, mostly going live, um, you can tell your phone to add subtitles and, um, and captioning. So I just did that today. Didn't realize that that was an option until I was researching this for Dreamstruck to add more um, for this. And you can also send unknown callers to your voicemail times we're busy and we block out time for our businesses and our phones ringing like right before dream strike I wish that I could block solicitors someone came to my door and I'm like I'm about to hop on a call you know but if someone's calling you while you're on a zoom call or you know you want to stay focused with getting your samples or your orders together you can send unknown callers right to your voicemail and check back in with them later the other thing too is you can translate languages directly from your text so if you have team members, sometimes people are like, well, I wanna expand in Mexico or I wanna expand in Spain or France or you know wherever, but I don't know how to speak that language. Well, now there's no excuse. Um, Facebook has an option where you can click and it can translate the language, but then also through text that they're here, right here, wherever you are, whatever region you're in, um, you can actually um, hold it down in the text message and it'll give you the option to translate. And you don't even have to tell it what language it's in. It'll identify it and know, you know that it's German or that it's Spanish or that it's French. Um, so that these are all things that you can kind of toy with as well. So these are just some of the things that I use. Um, and so now I'm just kind of curious with the other panelists, I'll toss it over to you. I know, I think Kelly is our only Android user, so she can maybe speak on the Android front. What are some of the you know uh, tools that she uses to help with her business? On her, me now. Yeah. Um. So I don't know why I am the only Android user because it's the best phone ever. I think um, Teresa might be doing an infomercial and getting paid for Apple or something. <laughs> Teresa, you getting paid for this? Apple Nation. <laughs> <laughs> No, but she did have some really good points on Apple. And it's funny because I do actually have an iPad for the business half of like when I do events and stuff, because it just is more efficient um, for that purpose only, okay? For Android, there is multiple things that I do love, one of them being scheduling messages. So I don't know about you guys, but I have squirrel brain usually at 11 o'clock at night. My, um, my mind just doesn't turn off. And I'm like, oh my God, I got to send Debbie a message tomorrow morning because her party's closing and she has five half offs and $300 in free product. Instead of me forgetting, instead of me adding it to a calendar, you know what? I can go right to my text messaging, hit the plus button as I'm sending Debbie a message and type or write the message right there and put what time I want to send it to her at. I don't know if Apple has that. I would assume they do. 
but that is one of my favorite features. Um, the other feature I love about Android that might not work with Apple in a difference that I've noticed is I don't have to pay for my apps, um, which is the reason why I've kind of stuck with it because I feel like not just phones, but everywhere in general is trying to nickel and dime us to death and get every little penny they can out of us. Um, so that is another plus. Um, let me look at my phone really quick. Um, now this can be for anybody. One of the other tips that I have, and maybe you got dressed today and you had to go to work and you, you're really feeling yourself and you think you look super cute. Go around your house and take all kinds of pictures with different products, right? In my phone, I have different albums per body line or wax or warmers, or maybe it's a joint special picture that I could use later, or maybe I have a cleaner, cleaners, I put all the cleaners in one album. Um, maybe it's the body line, maybe it's a kid's line, but I, after I take the picture, I move it to the album. So I'm really busy today. I do not have time to take pictures or post on my Facebook, but you know what? I do have time to go to a cleaner album find any picture that I've already taken and upload that to my stories or my Instagram or make a reel. A couple different options. Now, anybody with any phone can do that. Um, I'm trying to think of other ones. Where are my other Apple people here? I can look through the notes here. I also love the talk for text option, uh, messages and voice messages to private message, album feature. I have not found how to schedule text on Apple. I'm not Misty. I'm not sure if they have one. Um, that is one of the differences that I've seen when I am training or coaching somebody on the phone. I'm like, hey, girl, go to this spot and hit this. And they're like, I don't have that. And I'm like, okay. So um, I think Apple does have it where we can schedule um, text messages. Now, again, Google's your friend and so is YouTube. Um, but, you know, with all these updates and stuff, it might not have been something in the past, but I really do believe that that's something that I, um, that Apple has um um, offer is offering right now. Have the, the widget stacking. I create little bubbles and organize mine by maybe items. So I have a Sensi album. I have a photo album. So maybe you have a bunch of photo photo editing apps. Maybe you have bills. All your apps for your bills. Those go in one. Travel. I have Uber and Lyft and Southwest. Can you stop? Um, all those go into another little bundle and I'm going to go on mute now. So I don't know you guys. <laughs> and you know, Siri is your friend too. I don't know what Android has in replace of Siri, but I'm sure there's something, but Siri can actually read your emails loud and clear. So I love getting those PWS someone ordered from your website, you know, um, emails, but while you're working or again, doing something else, you can have, you know, the, those emails um, emailed to you. Also, I think there's a way that you can undo things like when you're typing or whatever on your iPhone and you shake your phone and it undoes it. Um, again, just a lot of different um, options that until you Google, you might not know that your phone um, can, can do it. Also, you can ask Siri to show you your passwords. I know whenever I have a new team member every now and again, they're like, I forgot my password. Well, the, your phone can actually store your, your passwords and then you can ask Siri to identify what your uh, passwords are as well, you know, to your accounts. Um, another thing is, um, yeah, you can schedule messages too. So I want to pass it on over to Amber. Amber, is there anything that we may have missed? Um, I know that there's a lot of things. It's not just what we're sharing tonight. Yeah, I'm pretty basic, y'all, to be honest. My mind is kind of blown tonight at all of the things that y'all are teaching me, but, um, and I hope I don't freeze up. Sorry if I do. I'll keep it quick. Um, screenshots are locked for me. They're my ongoing to-do list. Speaking of to-do list, I don't use paper anymore. I use the notes of my phone. So I keep in my phone a, a shopping list, a Scentsy shopping list, business supplies I need. Cause you know how, when you go to check out and you're like, I have $75 in free stuff and I've uh, deer in the headlights. I suddenly can't remember what I want or need. Um, I keep it in there when I run out of laundry, I put it in there, you know, whatever. It just makes my business so very streamlined so that I don't have to take a whole bunch of things with me. Like I was just traveling the past two days with my oldest daughter's uh, regional cross country meet. I had my phone, I brought my laptop, but I didn't even really use it. You know, it's just uh, ready to go albums. I had a teeny message me today while I was out of town, uh, wanting to know the details on Sensational Start. I had those photos saved to an album titled Teeny Help, and I knew it was there. So I just went to it, shot her the photos real quick. Um, super simple. 
And it seems like there's one more thing, scanning documents. I've used that. I love that in text replacement. It is seriously everything. In fact, I, I got a message while I was out of town. Amber, I spilled wax on my favorite hoodie. What do I do? So I typed wax fix. All of that that I had uh, programmed into my text replacement popped up. I sent it to her and yeah. And then um, my payment options. So I have my Venmo, my Square, my PayPal, all of the things saved there. And I use that all the time. So really just all the things that you can do to make your life easier to where you can have as much as possible on your phone because your phone goes with you everywhere your business will be so much more streamlined yeah another thing too that came to me while you were talking is that um one of the things that i know debbie pitts palmer does dpp is she does a lot of talking instead of typing and you know that helps save your your you know fingers from moving and it's definitely faster siri doesn't um, and like it allows you accent. just to kind of have more time no, <laughs> so, she, mess, um, she messes up what I say, but it does work for a lot of people for sure. I'm in voice texting uh, voice. because Siri doesn't recognize what I'm trying to say. I guess I'm a little country or I talk too fast, but voice texting because it's a whole lot faster than tapping. Yeah, absolutely. And sometimes it's more personable too. So if you have a team member or even a customer and just, you know, sending a voice message and they can hear your voice and hear your passion and your personality. Thank you so much for that order that you just placed on my website. And, you know, and then you might have a dialogue. You might not be able to sit there or have the time to text everything out back and forth for 30 minutes. But yeah, you have a few seconds to, you know, um, to voice, you know, voice text. The same thing with Facebook Messenger, too. You can send voice messages as opposed to just texting everything out. Easier on the fingers, more personable, and just a feature that I think um, many of us miss oftentimes. So I want to also turn it over to Emily. Emily, how do you utilize your phone? You're with iPhone Nation as well. Um, is there anything that you utilize in your daily, you know, business activities that we haven't mentioned yet? Yeah. Um, so I've gotten really used to using reminders and I use Siri like a personal assistant. So the thing with reminders is depending on when you set them for, um, whenever you're in a lock screen, if you have a reminder that's pending um, for, let's say, today, uh, that will show up at the top of all your notifications above everything else. So oftentimes I feel like I have I feel like I have early onset dementia because I don't remember anything anymore. So if I won't remember a doctor's appointment, I won't remember a lash fill. Some days I have to remind myself to get the kids from school like it's terrible. So I just tell Siri hey, remind me to go to this appointment or to order these business supplies or, you know, this is starting text, text customer so and so, and she'll set a reminder and then I can actually even tell her the time and date to remind me and it'll set it up in my reminder and I don't even have to touch my phone. So she really is like a pocket personal assistant and I really, really love that feature and I've been using it a lot now. Um, so if you haven't, uh, haven't done that for sure and I love the what you mentioned about the the um when you need to block out time i've come to use that a lot too i i just swipe left down on my or from the right i just swipe down on my phone and it brings up sort of all your navigation in one uh quick look you've got your calculator your flashlight you've got your focus we call it, it's called focus on an iphone but basically you can set your focus so whether it's study um sleep you know, whatever work and you can just pick whatever one you want and it'll give you advanced features if you have it set up. So like if you're in sleep mode, you might have a, a timer set or a bedtime wind down set. So I have all that set up in my phone too. And they're just, it comes in really, really handy. Like you said, T, when you're trying to get work done and you don't want notifications or calls coming through, you just set that really quick, that focus. And then everybody who say tries to text you, if they have an iPhone, I don't think if you're an Android user, it's going to show up to somebody, but from iPhone to iPhone, at least, like if Teresa were to try to text me while I was in the middle of a Zoom meeting or or doing my blocked out customer time, maybe I'm putting together mail. Um, if she were to text me, it would say Emily has notifications silenced or Emily's in study mode. And it'll tell if I choose to share that focus with Teresa, it will show her that my notifications are silent. So if I don't get back to her right away, that's why. And so it's just it's a really, really neat feature. And I, I use it a lot every day. Use it a lot every day. Love that. And so I think um, Amber wanted to touch on alarms real quick too. Thank you, Emily. Absolutely. 
Yeah, it's just alarms keep my booty on track. When Emily said that she sometimes forgets to pick her kids up from school, I'm like, yes, girl, same, same. And so I have alarms set for Dreamstruck for when I go live with my team for certain calls and other things that I have during the week. And they just stay set for those days, for those times. And there have been so many times I've been off my schedule or in a different place and that alarm goes off and I'm like, oh my gosh, I totally forgot. Yes. Keep them, keep them set for those days, those times. Again, all the streamlining. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. And I actually want to reach out to um, everyone that's participating tonight. Um, is there something that you use in your business on your phone, be it Android, be it iPhone? Is there something that you use that helps with time management or with your business? Um, if so haven't mentioned it go ahead and put it in the comments because I, I mean literally I have a page full of notes again um, which is always the case on Dreamstruck I, I love teaching but I also love learning for, as well so if there's anything that we missed um, Kelly if you don't mind in the chat and we can um, share I don't I, maybe we could it all maybe covered it all um, you know, something else I didn't realize too, you know, um, photo sharing. Yeah. Debbie said that we can share photos. We can share context as well. Um, but we can also save files. Like you might have a file, anything that you can save or print, um, on your iPhone, you can, or I'm sure Android as well. Um, you can save to a PDF, um, which is, I think, pretty cool as well. Amanda uses the Cozy app for scheduling. I love that. And, and okay, talking about apps, thank you, Misty. Um, your phone is now a camera. I mean, and it can really be used professionally for your products, you know, and even for you. Um, you can actually set timers and take pictures of yourself, you know, where you can stage things. Um, what I read is that lighting is the most important aspect. So you can have the best phone ever, but you also wanna make sure that your lighting is great. And the best lighting that you can have is natural lighting. So if you have natural lighting coming in from a window or natural lighting outside, um, think about that also with your products because I'm telling you, well, actually, I'm not telling you, I read this, that natural lighting, um, I'm sorry, um, most people, 67% of people um, are very, oh, what was it? Oh, I'm sorry. I think that 67%, whatever, I wrote down this percentage and I think it went, it pertained to the natural lighting. Sorry. Um, and so um, when you're, it, when your lighting is great on the, the warmer or the scent bar or you, or however you're trying to brand your business, um, that's very important. I think it captivates 67% of your audience more so when you have proper lighting. I think that's what I was trying to say earlier. And so write this down. Some of the best photo apps, photo editing apps are Lightstream. That's number one. Number two is Visco. It's spelled V-S-C-O, all capital letters. And number three is camera plus and the number two. So that's Lightroom. I know Rachel Pence uses that. Visco, V-S-C-O, and then camera plus two. So sometimes when you see the professional stuff, it didn't go through a studio. It really went through someone's phone, which I think we've come such a long way with technology, right? So um, anyway, um, I think that we covered a lot of ground. Um, Kelly, is there anything else that we may have missed or wanted to cover before we before we sign off tonight? I don't think that we missed a lot, however, but I, I think we could spend a whole 30 minutes on apps that we all use. There's so many apps that a lot of us don't know about and we're, you know, you just touched on a couple of them, but I think we could spend a whole half hour on apps and the panel, not even just the panelists, but the people in the chat, they probably have so many more apps, mind blowing than we could ever think of. And so I think we should schedule that and sharing is caring and roll with it. Yeah, you just hit the nail on the head. So that's going to be a topic for Dreamstruck because that is a whole nother segment within itself. <laughs> so thank you, Kelly. Thank you, Amber. Thank you, Emily. Um, thank you to Debbie, all the panelists. Um, we are getting ready to end the month of October. Um, so next Tuesday will be November 1st. So hard to believe. You guys, 
one of the things, and we're just going to sign off this way. I'm going to ask every um, superstar director that's on right now is to give one tip for the final countdown for this month of October. Some people think because the flash sale has ended that the month has ended because we didn't have a big LTO launch that there's not much else to do until November 1st. And that couldn't be any further from the truth. Okay, so I've said my piece and I'm going to pass this over to Emily if you can just sign off with one tip to close this month with all of our teams. Absolutely. Um, so I always let people know on the very last day of the month or the day before that I'm putting in a, a group order. So if anybody would like to save on shipping, please let me know. I don't tell them it's free shipping, um, but I will reach out to them and let them know, hey, if you want to get on my last minute order, let me know and I will put you on that. I also let um, those people know that I know who have redemptions that are still pending, even though I would have let them know when, they're, when, they're redemption, when they first open. Um, I let them know uh, again, hey, just a heads up, you still have a redemption um, and I want to make sure you take advantage of it. Since they've already paid the deposit, I want to make sure they're taking advantage of their redemption window. So I just send out that quick little reminder and that usually gives me a little PRB boost near the end of the month. Love that. Thanks, Emily. Amber? All right. Make sure you're caught up on your follow-up because that's a way to get in people's inboxes without being salesy and cold collie. And um, you never know if it's going to turn into an order or a party booking or, or something else, but definitely make sure you are caught up on your follow-up heading into a brand new month. Love that. Love that. Love that. Thank you. And uh, Debbie, what's your tip to end the month? Share bongo ideas, things that you know that would be catchy, uh, things like a price list of items, $25 or less, $10 or less, things that are affordable and allow people to know where you are and where you want to be because people are willing to help out. Just ask for help. Love that. Thank you, Debbie and Kelly. Y'all, I'm going left field. My advice would be don't give up. You know what? We have six days left in this month and I don't, I can't count on the fingers on both of my fingers, how many promotions my team is going to come up with. I don't care if they're $4,000 away. I've sold myself $7,000 in seven days. If they have a team of five of 10 of 15, there is no reason why they can't pull in $4,000 to get that promotion. That promotion has your name on it. And I do not want anybody quitting. I don't care how far away it is. Let's say you don't get it. You have a big fat paycheck on November 10th. Why are we going to give up? Why are we going to quit? If it is too far away, I don't care. Then you need to bust your butt because you have the control to do all the things. You have the control to change your title. You have the control to change your paycheck. And I don't want to hear anybody saying that, oh, I'm too far away or, oh, I just don't have time. Or my kids are here all the time. You know what, guys, look at my hair. My, my kids are here. I haven't even showered. I am grinding. My thumbs hurt. I'm going to the end. Do I have a promotion? Absolutely not. I can't get another promotion in my life, but you know what? I'm setting an example for every single person on my team that's watching me. I should always be at the top of my food chain in my own group. If I'm not, what am I doing? I'm not setting a good example. And I'm not going to say that I'm at the top every, every month. Cause I'm not, you know what? Sometimes mama needs a break. Sometimes I need to breathe, but you know what? Your leaders should be showing you the way. And if they're not, that's what we're here for. You know what? There is like six, six, seven of us here to help and guide you. And you can reach out to any single one of us. If you are having issues, you're having problems, you don't know what you need. You know what? We might not get back to you right away at the end of the month, but you know what? We're here. And there's groups and there's so many resources here. Do not give up and find what you need to get to this finish line on the 31st, which is my favorite day of the whole freaking year. So I'll be cheering you all on in costume. I can't wait to show you all my family, my family stuff this year. Love it. Love it. So Kelly took us to church. Thank you for uh, preaching because everything you said is spot on. Y'all don't give up. The month is still live. Do not give up mm -hmm. until 1.59 a.m. Central on October 31st, even if you're dressed up in costume. Y'all go get it. It's short. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Love you guys. We'll see you next week. Bye guys. Bye. Bye. Bye guys.